Scholar, today we are going to talk about chapter number four, uh, ac completing the accounting cycle. In this chapter, we're going to review some of the concept that we have uh, uh, talked about in the first three chapters, and then we're going to add some more. So the first thing we're going to talk about is accrual accounting that we have already discussed in the previous chapter. It's required by GAAP, GAAP equal generally accepted accounting principles. <clears throat> and it requires companies to measure and report accounting transactions without the necessity that cash has been received or paid. So we don't care whether the firm or the company or the business has received any cash or not. All we care that they have measured and report the transaction completely. Accrual accounting record transactions such as collecting cash from customers, receiving cash from interest earned, paying salaries, rent, and other expenses, borrowing money, paying off loans, issuing stock. So all of them are part of the transaction. So when we receive cash from customer, what we do say? Debit cash and credit account receivable. When we're receiving cash from interest earned, we say debit cash and we say credit interest revenue. When we receive uh, paying salaries and other expense, we say debit salary expense or salary payable if we are paying later and credit cash. It's the same thing we, uh, so the based on, so the uh, accrual accounting, the accrual accounting is based on two primary principles one is revenue recognition and the other is expense recognition or matching matching the revenue uh, ma matching the sorry matching the expense with revenue why i'm saying expense for the revenue because expense always comes first and then revenue follows it okay the time period concept we talked about period or time period concept reported at regular intervals. Basic accounting period is one year, but regular intervals include monthly, uh, quarterly, and annually. Every company provides a yearly basis, but a lot of publicly traded companies that use GAAP also provide do monthly reporting, quarterly reporting, annually reporting. These two reportings are required, and this is mostly for internal purpose. Around 60% of large companies use calendar year from January 1 to December 31st, and other companies use fiscal year. Fiscal year does not start on January 1st. For example, Walmart, their fiscal year starts on February 2 and end January 31st. Uh, companies also prepare for interim periods. Interim periods could be any number of months. It could be three months, it could be five months, it could be seven months, it could be nine months, ten months. So interim period, and it's mostly for internal use. Okay. Revenue recognition, revenue is recognized when earned. Whether you have received cash or not. For example, if I come to your store, and uh, purchase few things from your source and the bill is $500. And I take those things with me by saying that I will pay you later. That later could be next day, next week, next month. So usually businesses extend credit to their customer up to 30 days. This is a, what you call it, a rule of thumb, if you wanna call it, uh, for 30 days and the customer has 30 days to pay, pay them off. And when a customer give you a profit, a business has a claim on the customer. What do we call that claim? We call that claim an account receivable. Okay. Once we receive the cash, we do not have the claim on the customer. Expenses incurred to generate 
generate revenue are recognized or matched with the revenue in the same time period. For example, if my employees help them make $10,000 of revenue this month, then I need to make sure I should be able to uh, take those 10 uh, employees uh, revenue, for example, let's say $3,000, their salaries has to be recorded in the same month. So for that month, I know that one of the expense was uh, was salary expense, which was $3,000 and say utilities and other expenses as well. So we have to make sure that every expense incurred in the month or quarter or the year should be reported the same way. As with revenues, cash payment may occur at the same time before or after expense recognized. For example, your employees work until say August 31st. However, you're going to make a pay, make the salary payment on September 7th. Even though you are making the payment on September 7th, but the expense will recognize in the month of August because they work say from August 16th to August 31st, even though you are making a payment in September. Primary and temporary accounts, we talked about temporary accounts are balance sheet accounts and temporary accounts are income statement account. What are income statement account? Revenue and expenses. What are temporary account, uh, permanent account or balance sheet accounts? They are asset, liabilities, and equity accounts. There is a detail, you should be able to read it there is nothing new in that. So one of the things that we talked about is a temporary account called income summary. Okay. The temporary account sometimes called nominal accounts accounts close at the year end. They consist principally of the income statement accounts, but the income summary account and the dividend accounts are also included. So what happened when you calculate, uh, when you transfer the net income into a statement of retained earnings, you transfer using a temporary account, it's called uh, an income summary account and we're going to talk about the income summary account in a, in a little bit later. I just want you to know that this is also a temporary account we use to close um, our income statement into the balance sheet through a statement of retained earning. Closing of the temporary accounts to a zero balance allows the account to be ready to start accumulate data for the next accounting period for temporary accounts. Okay. Closing income summary, Temporary accounts are zeroed out at the close of accounting period in order to start fresh. And these accounts ultimately transfer to retain earnings, which is a permanent account of balance sheet. Retain earning is a permanent account of balance sheet. A summary account such as income summary can be used to help in the closing process. And then a temporary account with a debit balance is credited with the offsetting debit to the income summary and any temporary account with a credit balance is debited the offsetting credit to income summary. And I'm going to show you an example in a minute. Uh, income summary is then close to the retained earning and dividends are close to the retained earnings as well. So what are financial statement? There are uh, two basic financial statement, income statement and balance sheet. Uh, when we move the net income from the income statement to balance sheet, we use a statement called a statement of retained earnings. The fourth uh, financial statement is called a statement of uh, cash flow that we're going to talk about. So the balance sheet we have already talked about is reported all the assets, liability, and equity accounts a point in time, say on December 31st. Income statement gives us the results of operation for a given period. It could be a month from, uh, 1 1 to 1 31st or it could be a quarter uh, which could be for example january 1st to march 31st or it could be yearly that would be january 1st to december 31st 
okay we recognize the revenues and expenses uh, a statement of stockholders equity reports causing an increase and decrease in the company's stockholders equity during a given period and also uh, they have two part contributed capital and earned capital uh, earned capital is earned by the company and reinvested rather than distributed to the so earned capital is basically your net income kept in the some companies have but most include retain earning as part of the stockholders equity so why do we prepare financial statement what is the purpose to provide information about the results of operation financial position and cash flow of an organization that is a purpose of the financial statement this information used by readers of the financial statement to make decisions so they want to about the allocation of resources simply means an investor is reading it they want to know whether they should invest in this company or not a banker is reading these financial statement to figure out whether they should lend the money to the institution or to the business or not so yeah. In income statement informs reader about the ability of business to generate profit. Uh, can also be used to analyze trends in the results of company operation. Ba purpose of balance sheet informs the current status of uh, the data listed in the balance sheet, which is assets, liabilities, and equity. Uh, to estimate the liquidity, funding, and debt position of the entity. Retain earning shows re how retain earning changed during the period due to net income or net loss. Statement of cash flow is the nature of cash receipt and cash disbursement by a variety of categories. These categories are three operating, investing, and financing so these are three categories that talks about statement of cash flow relationship the financial statements are related to each other they have a connection net income from income state complete compute retain earnings and classified balance sheet place each asset and liability into a specific category which is assets and then liabilities show in order of liquidity means the most liquid of asset which is cash always listed at the at first and the least liquid so most liquid to least liquid so for example land is the least liquid for example means uh, liquid simply means you can convert the asset into cash as quickly as possible liquidity measures how quickly easily an account can be converted into cash operating cycle is a time span when cash is used to acquire goods and services these goods and services are sold to customer and business collects from the customer so for example you open a store you are a lawyer you are providing services to your lawyer and so sorry your clients and in and you are generating cash and then you are collecting cash from the customers so that's the operating cycle long-term assets that has a life greater than life greater than one year current liabilities life less than one year unearned revenue simply means received cash in advance in advance and provide will provide the service later provide the service or product later and that is why it's an unearned revenue is a liability it's a liability because the business is liable to provide customer the service okay how do we prepare financial statement 
the closing process zeros out all revenue and expense accounts in order to measure each period's net income separately from all other periods. So let me use this example that I have selected from your PowerPoint. So what is the closing process and how do we close? So we close, so we have expenses, we have income summary and we have revenues and we have dividends and retained earnings. So what we are talking about here is, so if you look at this way, so I'm going to draw this uh, picture one more time because it looks very uh, small. So let's see. Uh, So here is your expenses, all expenses, debits and credit. And here is your income summary and credit. And here is your revenues, debits and credit. So all the expense that you have is on the debit side, right? So all your expenses are here. So let's say they are uh, 600 as an example, right? And your revenues are all the credits, it's 1200. Now what you have to do, we have to change these uh, revenues and expense. So what we're going to do, we going to say debit, income summary and we're going to credit expenses so when we have credit expenses we put six hundred dollars over here and we saying debit six income summary we're putting six hundred over here all right so six hundred and six hundred this is so i'm just going to put it over here and i'm going to use a different color to say to close expenses account into income summary okay so we did that so now it's zero out all right very good now we're going to do the second thing is we're going to close revenue account into income summary so what we're going to do we have to debit revenue for say twelve hundred dollars so when we debit revenue is twelve hundred dollar it's zero out and then we're going to credit income summary for $1,200. So we put $1,200 over here, right? So what do we have here? We have a $600 difference. We have closed the revenue and expense account into income summary. And from that income summary account, we are going to create another account. It's called retained earning account. Here is a debit, here is a credit. The beginning balance is already there. So here is a beginning balance. I, we do not know at this point how much is the beginning balance. Let's assume the business starts now, uh, this, this year or this month, so it's zero. And then we're going to put how, so we have to close our income summary account because our income summary accounts, it has a credit balance, right? So how we are going to put our net income there. So what we're going to do, so to close the income summary account, we're 
to close the income summary account we going to do so just to let you know this is our net income the difference between the revenue and the asset so what we're going to do we're going to say debit income summary for six hundred dollars and we're going to say credit retained earnings for for six hundred dollars so that is we close the income summary so our six hundred dollars are over here that is net income and when we say dividend comes from uh, so here is our account for dividends right so dividends have a deb debit balance suppose we have a hundred dollar dividends so how are we going to close we're going to close to close dividends account we're going to say debit retained earnings for hundred dollars and we're going to credit dividend for hundred dollar so when we credit because debit on this side credit on this side is going to be zero and now we have dividend on the debit side of the retain earning so once we have calculated so we have a ending balance of uh, retain earning five hundred dollars that's how we're going to close these things into uh, uh, into a, a into a balance sheet so because the retain earning belongs to the balance sheet so we're going to put balance sheet in and you do not have to do any more journal entry to put it's already there all you have to do is just list list there and on this page on this page on your uh, uh, PowerPoint you see all of these transactions have been shown to you a step by step in every closing uh, uh, and how to be going to generalize these things so all of this information is provided to you uh, on, on a uh, uh, PowerPoint so remaining remaining journal entries are provided on a PowerPoint from all the way so which PowerPoint is it starting 24 slide 24 to slide uh, slide 33 Okay, so now we're going back to our notes. So over now that you know how to make it, uh, you know how to everything close. Now we're going to see what is a worksheet. A worksheet is using a program such as Microsoft Excel to facilitate adjusting and closing process. Basically, we're going to use download all our account information into an Excel file, and in that Excel file we are going to list all the debits on one side all the credit and one side then we will do the total if the total is equal it means all the debits are equals to credit then we can continue making our income statement balance sheet and a statement of retained earning but if they are not equal we have to do adjustment and then we do the adjust ad adjusting entries and that it becomes an adjusted trial balance that's in our second sheet and from adjusted trial balance we will make uh, the income statement balance sheet and other expenses uh, the four section of worksheet help determine the adjusted trial balance from which we prepare financial st statements prepares the account for the next period temporary accounts are zeroed out and at the close of accounting period we have to start with the fresh the balance is in these account transfer to retain earning a permanent account which i've already shown you dividends are also closed into retain earning we show that closing the temporary accounts these account do not close the permanent account make sure you know that that do not close the permanent account because their balance 
transfer to, to the next period. And debit each revenue for the amount of its credit balance and credit retained earnings for the sum of all revenues. I have already showed you in the example. Credit each expense account in the amount of its debit balance and debit retained earnings for the sum of all expenses. And the process, the closing process zeroes out all revenue and expense accounts to measure income separately. Temporary accounts are closed at the end of that period. Permanent accounts are not closed. Common stock and retained earnings, uh, so these, all these accounts are not closed. Closing entry transfer, revenue expenses, dividend to retained earnings. Income summary is a temporary account that summarizes the net income for the period. So income summary account come, came into being in at the end of the year, we use the income summary account to transfer all revenues and expense into a, uh, a into income summary and there we calculate the net income and when then then net income is transformed or transported from the income summary account to the retained earnings account uh, We use the analyze and record effect of the income of more than one period. Adjustment to the account balances are necessary at the end of each accounting period to record proper amount of revenue and match expenses with the revenue. Okay, allocating assets to expense. For example, recording the supplies used by debiting supplies expense and crediting supplies. Then revenues, accru accruing expenses and accruing revenues. We do that for that as well. Remember I told you when an asset is used up, it's become a an expense. So for expenses, we remember always accruing expenses when an asset is used up, it becomes an expense. Means you cannot use that asset anymore whether it's a prepaid or a tangible assets. Uh, Post-trial closing ba uh, balances ensures that an equality of debits and credit has been maintained throughout the adjusting and closing proce pro procedure. Okay. Only balance sheet accounts appear in the closing balance, so that could be an important question uh, for future. If somebody may ask you, only balance sheet accounts appear on the closing trial balance dividends depreciation and supply expense are temporary accounts that should have been closed and should not appear in the post closing balance so temporary accounts are not and a post closing trial balance is prepared once the temporary accounts have been closed okay. the accounting cycle ends with a post uh, tr closing trial balance a list of the accounts and their balances at the end of the period Accounting cycle is the process by which companies produce their financial. So this is simply a process to produce financial statements. And it follows throughout the time period. It starts with beginning assets, liability, and leftover from the preceding period. Re uh, reverse entries are special general entries that ease the burden of accounting for transaction in the later period. Quality of accounting number, the degree to which company financial statement reflects its true financial condition and performance. So this is about your accounting cycle project. Please go through these notes as well as uh, these uh, PowerPoint uh, because what we have learned in chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and a little bit in chapter four, it's all come together and it shows you because in chapter one, you learn what is accounting. In chapter two, you learn what is a transaction. In chapter three, you learn about adjusting a transaction or adjusting trans uh, balances. And in chapter four, we are bringing everything together to prepare a financial statement. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions about this. And if you want to make any changes in these videos, I would be happy to 
take into consideration your suggestion. Again, thank you for watching videos. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.